The ladder is in position for a water tower. Before I go to my pump panel, I want to ensure that my nozzle is in position from here. First, I need to activate the nozzle master. And at the tip, the fog nozzle is traditionally stored down and to the left. So I need to raise the nozzle a little bit from its position. And then I want to swing right. And if available, use a spotter and they'll be able to help you to determine when the nozzle is in position. Also, a semi-fog is recommended. Once the nozzle is in place, you can transition and start your pump panel operations. Before we transition to water tower, we want to ensure that the step is out. And then when we pull the 4-inch, we pull it underneath the outrigger. At that point, the line can be charged. Okay. Once water supply is established, we'll go to the cab to engage our pump to start our water tower operation. Ensure that you drop the idle at that point. Engage the pump. Drive and fourth gear is selected. Make sure that all your windows are up. Getting water to the pump, 80 pounds residual. At this point, we're ready to charge the waterway. Optimum is to have one person at the pedestal and one at the pump. For today's simulations, we're doing it in segments. We'll show you the pump panel operation and then we'll tra transition to pedestal operations. Again, we talked earlier about making sure your nozzle is in the correct position. I brought up to 150 PSI for this operation today. I'm going to slowly start to open the aerial discharge. I'm communicating with the person on the pedestal to ensure that they're ready for water. And then as I open, I double check to make sure that there's no damage being done with the current nozzle position. Once I've charged the waterway, I work with the person on the pedestal and adjust my pressures according to the flow meter. For today's operation, I worked with my pump panel operator. We're flowing 1,000 GPM. As you can notice, I started with a semi-fog. At this point, we're going to work on our nozzle operations and direct the nozzle to have our stream move each of the three cones simulating our fire target. This point will go to a straight stream. Once all my targets have been reached, I'm going to return to a semi-fog pattern.
At that point, the water tower evolution is over. Once our water tower operation is complete, we can shut down the pump. We can do that by either slowly decreasing the throttle, or we can push the system shut down. Aerial discharge valve can be closed. At that point, I will disengage the pump. Pump operations are done, but ladder operations are still active. I will re-engage the high idle. Okay, we're wrapping things up. We need to ensure that the aerial drain is open. We open that completely. This is to ensure that there's no damage done to the aerial and that the aerial waterway is completely drained. While that's draining, I'm gonna go ahead and transition and uh, start picking up my hose and breaking things down. After water tower operations, everything is being restored. Make sure you close the aerial drain completely. As a reminder, anytime water is flowed, you need to lubricate the waterway with ATF to ensure preventative maintenance. Also on a monthly, a reminder to lubricate the waterway also.